Yes, I, the one that people have called the Squarespace queen of the internet, left Squarespace. Temporarily. I'm back now. So let me explain why I moved, where I moved, and why I moved back. To cut a long story short, I wanted to test if the whole Squarespace sucks for SEO statement was indeed true, and I knew that the only way that I could actually test that was to move my entire website, primarily my over 500 blog posts, from Squarespace to Showit, which, if you're unfamiliar, makes use of a WordPress blog. And I did that in order to see if it made a difference to our SEO in the organic traffic that we were getting from Google. Now, the full results of that little research project, which I did, numbers, stats, all of the things, is coming onto this channel in a video very, very soon. I will, when it's published, link it up here for you, also in the description below, or make sure, just subscribe to the channel and then you'll get notified when the video drops. Now in this video, however, I am going to give you an extremely in-depth comparison between Squarespace and Showit. I have now fully, fully used both platforms and I have opinions. A few years ago when Show It was all sexy on the scene and everyone was talking about it, I actually played around with it for a day. I created a mock website on the platform and then I did a whole review of it on my blog and the review, to be honest, was pretty glowing. I loved the complete design freedom in Show It. I love the gorgeous templates. I love the amazing team and the founder, Todd, who was actually so lovely, he commented on my blog post to say thank you. The other thing which I really appreciate about Show It is how much they seem to support their designers. So they have a template shop where they will sell their designers templates in their shop and they also take some of their best designers on a trip every year and that sounds fantastic so kudos to show it on that. Oh and they also host conference every year for their community which also looks like a really good time. Now however that I've actually used show it in the real world in the wild for a few months I put it to a proper test drive I guess you could say having moved all of our content over onto show it and then actually using it day in and day out for months and my findings are a little bit different than that original review with that more in-depth experience I've had with the platform. So in today's video, I am going to compare the platforms on the following categories and then also give you my final verdict on each. First, we're gonna compare features and functionality. Then second, we'll talk about ease of use. Third, we'll discuss design capabilities. Fourth, the template selection. Fifth, blogging. Sixth, SEO. Seven, customer support. And eighth, price. Now remember, this comparison comes from my own experience. So I'm gonna point out the bits that were relevant to my website, but obviously some of these things might not be completely applicable to you and your website. For example, I'll talk about integrating my email marketing software, ConvertKit, and blogging, and also the price difference between Squarespace and Showit, and I'll speak about the price difference in terms of my personal website. So while the exact results might be slightly different in your unique circumstances, I think that what I'll explain here is giving a very accurate comparison of the platform for maybe like a typical website. So so let's get started with talking about features and functionality. So Squarespace is known to be an all-in-one platform. Inside of Squarespace, you can blog, have your Instagram feed pulled onto the website, you can have Pinterest pins on your website, you can have an appointment booking scheduler on your site, you can buy a domain name through Squarespace, you can have pop-ups on your website, again through Squarespace, you can sell products through an online store, you can sell services, digital products, physical products through your online store, gift cards, you can also create customer account profiles, you do have the option to use their email marketing, you can have forms, access free or paid stock images, you have a built-in anti-spam software, you can also see all of your analytics in Squarespace itself, not just in Google Analytics, um, and then you can also go ahead and edit your SEO settings in the platform too. Now that is just naming a few of the features and functionality inside Squarespace, which I feel like will be most relevant to most people. Now a problem that people will complain about with any all-in-one platform is that you're often stuck using whatever is the built-in option, and sometimes that feature isn't quite up to snuff. I do have to admit, I don't love Squarespace's email marketing system. Their e-commerce options are also not quite as robust as something like Shopify would be, but otherwise I genuinely love every other single built-in feature inside of Squarespace. And I would say that all of those other features are 100% up to snuff with any other competitor that just does that one thing. Now, show it functionality-wise is much more limited than Squarespace, and this is made up for, however, by the use of plugins. So from that list of built-in features that you can have in Squarespace, Squarespace automatically, let me show you how many can be natively done inside of Showit without adding an additional plugin or using a separate software. Now let me clarify, 
All of these things can be done on a show it website. It's just not automatically built into the platform. So it took one of my team members three whole months to move us from Squarespace to show it. And let me clarify, she's a fantastic worker. She's efficient. So it wasn't because she was slacking off or really slow. The reason it took us so long to move was because she had to go find a plugin for every one of these bits and pieces of functionality that was missing inside of the platform. And then she had to connect said plugin and then troubleshoot the inevitable problems that come up when you are trying to do so. Every time we thought we were finally ready to launch our website on Show It, some new plugin problem appeared for us. So the winner for the features and functionality section, hands down, is Squarespace by a mile on this one. Now, moving right along to ease of use. So both Show It and Squarespace have a drag and drop builder, meaning you add bits to the website like images and text blocks, and then you just pop those bits and pieces into place on the website. Now, the builder in this regard is honestly pretty on par between the two of them. The one one difference between the builders, however, is the views that you have. So on Squarespace, you can toggle between desktop view, tablet view. On Show It, interestingly, you're automatically building on their tablet view, and then the mobile view is there for you too. Now granted, only a fraction of actual website traffic does happen on a tablet. It is much more common for people to use a website on either desktop or mobile. So it seems like an odd choice with Show It to have the builder that you're building in to be in tablet view. You can, of course, see your website on desktop. What you do basically is you build in the tablet view, and then you go and refresh and preview on desktop and see how it looks and then tweak again back in tablet view, which again, just isn't the most efficient thing in my personal opinion. But now the real aspect when it comes to ease of use that differentiates these platforms comes back to the whole plugins topic. So with your Show It website, you are absolutely going to use plugins. There's no question in my mind that you're going to use them. There are a lot of common website features, which 100% of you are going to want, which Show It doesn't automatically have built in. For example, blogging, selling products or services, appointment scheduling, even getting a domain name, those all happen with other third-party softwares or plugins. And this, in my opinion, is where the ease of use issues start to crop up. So plugins are a real challenge because when you have a number of plugins used together, inherently this just creates problems. So when we were building and moving our website, we were constantly finding that something was going wrong. And in order to see what was causing the issue, what we had to do was one by one disable the eight different plugins that we were using on the show website and then refresh to see if disabling that specific plugin was the thing which solved the problem. And if that first plugin wasn't the problem, then we'd have to do it again to the second and third and fifth and sixth and everything until we went through all eight plugins to try to figure out which one was causing the issue. We learned the hard way that not all plugins are compatible with each other, but you don't know which ones are compatible or not ahead of time, meaning that you spend a lot of time testing things. Granted, I do have to say, if you're a website designer watching this, then once you have built websites on Show It multiple times, you'll probably come up with your favorite list of plugins that you know all work well together. And so this isn't gonna be such an issue for you. However, if you're like us and you're building your website on Show It for the first time, this is gonna take you a while to try to figure out which plugins work best together. Now, the second real issue that we found with the whole plugins, ease of use situation was the support for the plugins. So because each plugin is created by a different company, you have to then go and get in touch with the support of a bunch of different companies as opposed to just dealing with the support of one company. Now, I don't wanna blame this on Show It. It's not its fault per se, but it is just a fact of using the platform. So clearly, on the ease of use front, I'm going to give Squarespace the lead on this one again. So Squarespace is definitely the ease of use winner. Now, again, I do just want to clarify that I don't think show it itself is necessarily the problem. It's just the fact that again, all those plugins kind of creates the problem. Using all those plugins is pretty much unavoidable when you're using Show It. Next, let's discuss design capability and visuals. Now, this is where Show It has always stood out and been the front runner. And honestly, it still is. Show It gives you complete design freedom on both your desktop and your mobile website. Now, while Show It is a leader in this aspect, and it totally still is, it is slightly less so ahead of the game because of a recent update that Squarespace made. So let me explain it like this. Show It looks a lot like the Adobe programs. You can drag and drop anything, anything. Anywhere. and the freedom is genuinely unlimited. Now you can customize the thing down to the last pixel from the header to the footer to everything in between. You can get so specific with what you wanna put on the website and where you wanted to put it on the website and that is genuinely incredible. If you want a specific line to intersect a specific word at just the right point, then you can definitely make that happen and show it. 
On Squarespace, you can't get quite as specific as this. I will fully admit to you that as a Squarespace designer, there was some design capabilities in Show It that I lusted after and dreamed of for years. And while Squarespace has more recently caught up, it still isn't quite where Show It is. Now, Squarespace recently released their latest editor that is the Fluid Engine editor, and that totally changed the game in terms of the flexibility of Squarespace design. Now, before Fluid Engine, Squarespace operated on a grid of 12, meaning that blocks had to drop in line with that grid. Now the grid has been changed, allowing you to customize the spacing of the grid and making it into a grid of 24. The numbers honestly aren't so important. You don't really think about the number of spaces on a grid when you're actually building the website. It just means that you can get an item within about half a centimeter of where you want it, but you can't get it down to the millimeter of where you want something like you can with Show It. Granted, the difference in the level of flexibility here is probably only important to like 1% of the population. So if you're the average person building a website, this probably doesn't really matter much to you. Now, the one thing which I did want to mention on this topic is that Vicky, my team member who was tasked with moving our website over to Show It, she did mention that while she loved the freedom of the designs inside of Show It, she didn't love that you didn't have any really clear rules to drag and drop blocks onto a specific grid. You just kind of put them wherever and then you had to try to figure out some sort of like system yourself to make sure that everything was aligned properly. There are rulers on the left side of the builder, but you can't drag them over into the actual design itself. So again, it makes it a little bit hard to make sure that all of your buttons or all of your text or all of your items are aligned the way that you want them to be. This just makes it a little bit more time consuming to build the site. And then also the designs tend to be a little bit less structured than you would get with something built on a grid. So as I've alluded to, when it comes to design, freedom and capability and functionality, show it is definitely the winner on this one. Next, let's talk about templates. So on the visuals front, I do have to say, I personally am more of a fan of Show It's template options, probably because the platform caters to people like me with a certain aesthetic. And so from the templates perspective, Show It's built-in templates are more my vibe personally. Granted, I do have to say as a website designer, I'm not actually using templates. I build websites from blank pages. So template style doesn't matter as much to me as your average person, but I do realize that if you're watching this and you are building a website for the first time, then maybe you are going to start with a template and rely on that heavily. So this might be more important to you than it would be to me. Granted, also, if you don't like the vibe of templates on Show It, this could actually be a negative for you and not a positive, as all of their templates definitely kind of appeal to a certain style, where Squarespace has a little bit more variety in their template styles. So this is kind of hard for me to give a rating on because while I personally love the Show It templates, I do realize that for your average business owner who has a bit more variety and style than just like the typical thing which Show It is offering, they might like Squarespace templates more. So for this one, I think it'd be the safest to give both platforms a tie on the templates front. Next, let's discuss blogging. So Squarespace has a built-in blog platform. Show It does not have a built-in blog platform, meaning that when you build your website on Show It, you can still blog. You just use a WordPress blog to do your actual content creation. So you're inside of WordPress to do your content creation, and it basically gets pulled into your Show It website theme when that post is published. Now, the real pain that we found with Show It was when and we were trying to pull a preview of, let's say, the most recent six blog posts onto our homepage. There's different types of pages in Show It, and only a blog page can pull in blogs from the WordPress blog. So we actually need to create our homepage as a blog page, just because we did want to have like a preview of the six most recent posts onto our homepage. And so again, that meant kind of building the homepage as a blog page, which wasn't what we originally expected we would be doing. Now, this just wasn't quite as convenient as on Squarespace. With Squarespace, you can use something called a summary block to pull content from a blog, product store, events calendar onto any area of your website without changing the page type, which is very convenient. Now, I do have to say the actual blogging experience and functionality is very similar between the two different builders. Again, once you've added the plugins on to show it, then they're pretty equal. I would, however, give Squarespace a bit of an edge in terms of the ease of writing the posts. So the blog editor in Squarespace, I just personally find a lot more enjoyable and easy to use as you can actually see the post and what it's exactly going to look like as you're actually building it. Whereas with WordPress, you are are writing the post in the WordPress editor. And then only once you preview it, so when you're writing it in the WordPress editor, it just has like the standard WordPress font. And then you have to preview it to see what it would look like sort of pulled into your website and with your custom fonts that you've set inside of Show It. So the winner, in my opinion, for this one, I'd give an ever so slight edge to Squarespace on the blogging front because of the lack of plugins, not needing to use all these plugins, and a bit more of an enjoyable blogging experience. The next thing that we need to discuss is SEO, and this is so important. So in both Squarespace and show it, you have some tools in the back end to tweak your SEO settings and descriptions for your website. Now, people for 
for the longest time always argued WordPress had superior SEO. And again, I have an entire video which is going to come out on exactly this comparing the SEO of the two platforms. So when it's ready, again, I will link it up here for you. And also if it's not ready yet, just subscribe to the channel so you can find out when it drops. Now, one SEO factor that we noticed was very different on the two platforms for us was our Google Page Speed Insights report was much better on Show It than it was on Squarespace. But as you will see in the other video, what actually happened in terms of traffic to the website, literally no difference. It was the same. So in terms of, well, that SEO ranking factor seemed to not perform as well on the Squarespace site as it did on the Show It site, it didn't actually make any change to the rankings that we were seeing. And then of course the organic traffic to our website. We were getting 30,000 page views a month on Squarespace. And then we continued to get 30,000 page views a month when we were on Show It. So that was interesting. Now organic traffic is our main traffic source by a long shot. And we noticed again, absolutely no difference in the traffic when we had our blog posts and website on one platform or the other. So when it comes to SEO, 100%, I'd say both platforms are fully tied on this one. So the lesson here truly is the quality of your content is what actually matters to your SEO rank and not the platform which your website is on. Now let's talk about customer support. So both companies have very well trained and very well educated customer support agents who can genuinely help you with your problem, which is fantastic. Granted, we did get a fair bit of copy and pasting from the FAQ section when we talked to show it support, but granted, we've totally had that experience with Squarespace as well. So the one thing though that does make a difference between the two companies is that show it has email support where Squarespace has live chat. And so when they inevitably give you the copy and paste from the FAQ section, I find that it's just easier to deal with Squarespace because then you can say like, Hey, yeah, I literally just read that. Thanks. <laughs> but that still doesn't solve my problem. Whereas it just takes longer to kind of go through like, yeah, I already read the FAQ section when you're doing emails and it takes a couple hours to get a response like we show it. And also when it comes to a more complex problem or something, I just find it again, easier, faster to explain everything and to answer questions when I'm on live chat as opposed to email. So for this one, I'm going to say the winner is definitely Squarespace. The agents are equally as trained. It's just easier and faster to get responses with live chat than it is with email, which is the only option on show it. Next pricing. So on Squarespace, space, we were on the business plan, which costs $33 a month if you pay monthly. Now the show it plan that we were on cost $69 a month. So it was slightly more than double the price to have our website on show it. Now pricing for show it is dependent on two things. First is the traffic to your website. And second is the amount of storage that you need. So if you are like us and you have a lot of content created on your website on say a blog, for example, or if you hope to do that in the future, and that is your intention is you want to be creating content on your website, then do know that increasingly over time as you produce more content, Squarespace will increasingly be cheaper and cheaper compared to show it. So for price, I do have to say Squarespace is the winner on this one, which that brings me to our final results. So on features and functionality, Squarespace wins. Ease of use is Squarespace again. When it comes to design capability, however, show it definitely takes the cake on that one. When it comes to templates, I would give both of them a tie. When it comes to blogging, Squarespace wins. SEO, they tie again. Customer support, Squarespace wins. And price, Squarespace wins again. So that is five wins for Squarespace, one for show it and two ties. So which website building platform is right for you? Well, I would say for the vast majority of people watching this video, Squarespace is going to be the better option for you. However, if unparalleled design freedom is more important to you, so that means like the ability to move a block or a piece of text or an image like half a millimeter to the left or right or up or down or something is the most important thing to you, then show it would be the answer because you do have that unparalleled design freedom. Granted, you have a lot of headaches with the plugins and the pricing and the WordPress blog and everything. So it's not for me personally, but if it's for you, wonderful. Now I should mention Squarespace has a super powerful editor. Yes, you cannot get down to the millimeter on things. You can get within like a centimeter of where you want to drop something. So if ease of use is more important to you, if price is more important to you, if ease of getting in touch with the customer support and everything is more important to you than moving something a millimeter to the left or right, then I would say Squarespace is definitely the best option for you. Now, if at the end of this, you did decide that Squarespace is the platform that you want to choose, then the next thing you're going to need to figure out is how exactly do I build a website on Squarespace? Lucky for you, I put together a complete complete Squarespace tutorial to walk you step by step through everything that you need to know to get started building your website on it. So be sure to check out this video next to catch that tutorial. Mm -hmm.